Natalie Duran, 26 years old, Los Angeles, California. This is my story. I'm a strong girl that is very carefree, just kind of spontaneous and all over the place. Literally, I'll be up on a building or crawling on the floor. I don't have the sexiest legs in Hollywood but they sure are powerful. What's that? <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I'm me. Bam, fresh shirt, what's up? <laughs> Wait for another Ninja Natalie shirt. Before I became a Ninja Warrior, I was a rock climber. And I kind of found the sport of rock climbing going into college. I didn't like the gym and I didn't like running. I don't understand weights. It was because I found this free day pass, fell in love with it, and I just haven't stopped to that day. It kind of sculpted my body into this crazy like flex machine. I love climbing so much because it's not only a physical thing, it's like a mental struggle. I'm first generation Filipino Asian American, so my parents were immigrants to this country in like the 70s. I remember my parents always making a joke. The first day you were pushed out, you were gonna become a doctor. And I'm like, cool, got this awesome pressure on me. I was always very studious because my parents were very strict with me. I, I went to college and got my degree in neuroscience. I went for four years with an emphasis in medicine. Hey. <laughs> you know, I had a very successful like position and I was really happy with my coworkers and everything. One day we just lost funding and six of us got laid off. Really when one door closes, it kind of opened up my mind to new perspectives and that you know, being an influencer, being an athlete, be a full-time ninja warrior. So I wake up, stretch a little bit, and do a little yoga. There is a chunk of time where I like to go to different coffee shops, get some emails done, you know, post on the social medias. And then I actually go to a couple or three gyms in a day where I train for rock climbing, train for upper body strength. I try to get to uh, Santa Monica Muscle Beach every evening. That's actually where I meditate on top of a 25-foot rope. But I actually like it. I enjoy being up there. Being where I'm at today, being like a competitor and ninja warrior, it's still not an easy struggle to pay my bills, where I still have to find all the different competitions I have to compete in and win, and then, you know, different appearances and trying to partner up with all these different people. I wake up in the morning because I just, I want to move and not just like run or walk, but climb things, you know, do some yoga, but just like be creative with movement. I could genuinely say I'm like the happiest person I've ever been in my life. Yeah, I kind of appreciate rock climbing because it parallels on how I deal with like my day-to-day -day life because I honestly don't have any long-term goals. Where on rock climbing, it's, it's point A to point B, but really it's a huge puzzle on how you get to that point. I think the key thing is surround yourself by positive people and try to avoid any negative situations and just kind of live your life each day with gratitude.